Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteratEverything.info and this is part 4 of my AutoCAD Basics series. In this video we will be covering the modifying commands of Erase, Rotate, Move, Mirror, Copy, and Scale. I know that's quite a few but they're all pretty similar and uh, once you get a hang of it it shouldn't be too hard at all. So I'm still in the same drawing as uh, we worked on in the last lesson number three where I showed how to use the draw commands line polyline and circle uh, so we're gonna hit Z enter and E enter to zoom to extents and there you can see all the little scribbles that we had from last time uh, to start we're gonna go with the erase command to activate erase you can uh, use the E command so just type in E and then enter. I find that's the quickest way. You can also select the object you want to erase right there and hit the delete key. I'm hitting U for undo to bring that back. Uh, or you can use the E command like I showed. So you hit E, enter, and it asks you to select your object. So I'm going to select the circle, this line, and this rectangle. I'm going to hit enter. Erased. It's as easy as that. To bring something back if you didn't mean to erase it, just type in U, enter, undo. Uh, say you did want those erased, you can redo your undo by typing in redo, and they disappear again. Uh, next we've got rotate. I'm going to rotate this rectangle down here. To bring up the rotate command, it's uh, up at the top here. There's a button rotate it's got a little circle with an arrow or you can type in RO enter to rotate it asks you for your uh, object first you can see the select objects down here simply click the object you want to rotate and hit enter click the base point this is the point at which the object will rotate so you could choose the center of the object if you want to rotate around the center uh, you can choose an arbitrary point over here if you want it to spin wide. Uh, I'm going to choose the bottom right corner. And now you can spin it using your mouse here. Or you can type in an exact rotation angle at the bottom. I'm going to use 45 degrees and hit enter. And there you go. That's rotate. Uh, as before, you can always use the U command and enter to bring it back. And I'm going to bring up Rotate again, R-O, Enter, select my object. This time I'm just going to pick somewhere near the middle. I'm going to rotate it 67 degrees. And there you go. That's Rotate. Um, there's many other options, uh, like using R-O, Enter, click. And I'm going to choose the center as well. And this time I'm going to use negative 10 degrees. You can use negative to go the opposite direction, which would be clockwise uh, with my settings. Uh, next we're going to use move. Move command is uh, probably going to be one of your most used of these. And it's simply M, enter, to bring up the move command. I'm going to hit escape. You can also click move up here. You can see it comes up and gives you a little demo of how it works. But click move it asks for which object you'd like to move I'm going to move this polyline over here and once you've selected your object hit enter and now it asks for a base point this is the point at which the measurement of how far away it will be moved is taken from um, that kinda sounds a little confusing but I'll show you what I mean so I wanna move this point here so I'm gonna start here as my base point and now it asks my second point so you can move this point, which moves the whole polyline in relation to it, to anywhere you'd like. So I'm going to move this corner point to attach to over here. So you simply just drag it, line it up there, and click. I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to show you another option. Uh, M command, hit enter. I'm going to select the same polyline, hit enter. Now I'm going to select the same base point, but now as my second point, I'm going to move the mouse to the right so that it knows which direction I want it to move. Whichever way this dashed line here 
is pointing is the direction that your line is going to move. So you can move it down, to the right, to the left, up. And you can also set it so that it'll snap to other angles as well, which I'll show in the next video probably. Uh, so we're going to go down, and I'm going to move it 10 meters down, and there you go. It's just moved down 10 from that point. Pretty simple. Uh, next up, we've got mirror. As with the other ones, you can click it up here, mirror, or you can type in mirror, mirror, enter, um, and we're going to mirror the house that we made. So under objects, I'm going to select the whole house, hit enter. Now it asks for the first point of your mirror line. This is the point at which it will mirror your image. So I'm going to click this corner here, and I'm going to pull down. That'll do an exact flip. Uh, you can go to the left, which will flip it the other way. Uh, you could go at a 45 over here, which would flip it, spin it clockwise. Um, you know, there's a few other options. So let's flip it right like that. Put the mouse up and click. Um, now it you, it asks you if you'd like to erase the source object, which would erase the current house and just show the mirrored one, or you can say no, which is the default, and it leaves both. Um, as you can see, I, I kind of missed the straight up and down, but that's okay. Simply hit undo, brings it back here, click the mirror, select your object, hit enter. That's going to be our mirror point. Straight down, click. Uh, yes, I would like to keep my old one, so no. And there we go. That's mirror. Uh, next up is copy. This one's uh, exactly what it sounds like. You're simply copying an object. Uh, so let's click up here. You can also type in CO, enter, as the quick command. Now it asks you to select objects down there. We're going to copy these windows. We're going to make a second level of windows. So I'm going to select this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. You can select as many objects as you'd like. Hit enter when you're done. Now it asks for a base point. I'm going to go something like, I'm going to choose right here. It's arbitrary. I'm going to move down this line, and I'm going to type in 3 meters. And then hit enter again to end the command. Now I've made copies of these windows 3 meters lower than the original ones. I don't know if it's actually meters, I can't remember what we set this up. You probably remember from the last video. Uh, next up, we've got scale. Uh, scale is also available up here. You can also just type in scale and enter. Uh, we're going to make the house on the left half the size of the house on the right. So under select objects, we're going to select oops. We're going to select our house. There it is. And we're going to hit enter. Now it asks for a base point. We're going to use right here and it's going to scale the house towards this point. Now it asks for our scale factor. We're going to use 0 0.5. That's half. Uh, and we're going to hit enter. And there we go. Our house is now half the size that it just was. Now, say you want to scale something up. You use the same methodology. So you click scale up here. Select your house. Hit enter. And now it asks for a base point. We're going to use this corner again. And now, as a scale factor, we're going to use 2.0. Now, this house is twice as big as it originally was. And this one on the left is half the size as it originally was. Pretty simple, right? Well, that's all for today. If you've got any questions, just ask me on the uh, comments section or visit the site at betteratteverything.info. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up on the new videos. Thank you. Bye.